Good afternoon, I'm Pat Harvey. We want to update you on the stories we're working on today. This is CBSLA.com's The Rundown. A Lancaster woman has now been charged with the torture and murder of her son along with her boyfriend. Heather Maxine Barron was taken into custody Wednesday but wasn't arrested until today. Her boyfriend, Kareem Leva, faces the same charges as well as an additional count of assault on a child causing death. 10-year-old Anthony Avalos died eight days ago after he was found unresponsive at his home. Less lives were lost than I think could have been lost. New details emerging about the alleged gunman who killed five people at a Maryland newspaper. Prosecutors say 38-year-old Jared Ramos barricaded the office's back doors to prevent victims from escaping. Ramos had repeatedly harassed journalists at the Capitol Gazette after he was named in a column about harassing a woman. A judge threw out a defamation suit he filed against the paper in 2012. President Trump says he will announce his replacement for retiring Supreme Court Justice Anthony Kennedy on July 9th. He told reporters today that he's narrowed down the choices to six or seven people, including two women. The president refused to discuss whether he was looking for a justice who would help overturn Roe v. Wade, the 1973 case legalizing abortion. Surveillance video in Canada shows a couple's bizarre attempts to escape police after allegedly using a stolen credit card at a convenience store. When police showed up, officers say the male suspect pushed his girlfriend into them so he could escape. And as police chased him, his girlfriend ducked into a back room and climbed into a vent before falling out and crashing to the floor. Both were arrested without serious injury. Now here's Garth Kemp with a look at our forecast. Garth. Yeah, Pat, while we continue morning clouds, afternoon sunshine, the high pressures weakened a little bit, so it makes for a nice pattern for us. Not until the latter part of next week where we really start to get up there. These temperatures are going to be even hotter than what I'm showing you. Looks like that now at least. We'll start to track triple digits by next Friday, 4th of July. Looking pretty nice, though. Pat, enjoy it. All right, thanks, Garth. And join Garth and me on CBS 2 News at 5, 6, and 11 for the latest on your weather forecast and all of our top stories. This has been CBSLA.com's The Rundown. I'm Pat Harvey. Have a great evening.